Today I'm reviewing the Adidas Terexographic. Hey guys, it's Kim here for another Mile Long Legs gear review. And today I'm reviewing the Adidas Terex Agravic. Agravic? Agravic? I think that's how you say it. When I first unboxed these shoes, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty stoked. These are my very first pair of Adidas that I have ever tried. And come on guys, it feels pretty awesome to try a new brand of shoe. And I have put these shoes through the ringer. I wore them on dry, buffed out trails, wet, muddy technical trails, you name it, I gave it a go in these guys here. So did the Terexographic win me over? Let's get into it, shall we? Here are the things that I liked about this shoe. Traction. With its aggressive lugs and grippy rubber outsole, I'm really loving the traction that the shoe gives me. Now it's definitely a more aggressive outsole than what I'm used to running in, but from my very first run in these shoes, I felt like I could have a lot of fun in them. And it was easy to put a lot of trust in these guys here to help keep me upright even in slick technical conditions. The overall grippiness of this outsole here is a huge win for me. Durability. Even with a large amount of rough terrain miles in these shoes, they are holding up really really well. Besides obvious dirt and mud that are on mine here, they still look and perform as if they were new. No nicks, no gouges, nothing. And as for the upper, the tight mesh with the welded overlays really help make the shoe a resilient one. Feel and fit. And while the shoe is more structured than some of the other shoes that I regularly run in, it never feels constrictive or rigid. The mesh upper feels fairly airy and flexible, and even though this shoe weighs 10 ounces in my size, I never really was bothered by that extra weight. Now it might be a different story if you're logging in 50 mile runs in this shoe, maybe the weight will start to bother you at some point, but for the training runs that I did varying from 4 to 13 miles, it was never an issue. And for the most part, due to the boost midsole here, it delivered a fairly smooth ride, even for a beefier shoe like this. Beef. Moving on to dislikes. Sizing. The sizing of the women's version of this shoe is a little bit off. I did have to size down a half size for my regular shoe size in these guys here. Which can be a total pain in the butt if you're ordering online and you don't know ahead of time. And for you guys out there watching, I can't speak on the sizing of the men's version of the shoe, but for you ladies, I would recommend sizing down a half size. And if at all possible, get into a running shoe store so you can actually try the shoe on before you buy it, just to make sure. Toe box. Okay, so because I have wide feet and a bunion, super cute, I'll likely be one to complain about the width of a shoe on the regular. And I know everybody's feet are totally different, but for me personally, I will almost always want a wider toe box and this shoe is no exception. And while I did find them comfortable enough, I still found myself yearning for a slightly roomier fit in the forefoot area. Even if the shoe was a tad bit wider, it would make my feet that much happier. And lastly, cushioning. Yes, earlier I did mention the smooth ride that these shoes provide. But having said that, anytime I would hit a paved section of trail or really hard packed buffed out trail, the shoe felt really out of its element, and rightly so, but knowing that I'm going to hit some of that kind of terrain during my run, I do wish the shoe had a little bit more cushioning. And that is all for the dislikes. So was this shoe a hit or a miss for me? Definitely a hit. This shoe has a place and serves a purpose in my running shoe arsenal. It has quickly become a go-to shoe for me on days that I want to go play on technical, muddy, slick trails. And for those days, I need to put a little extra trust into my outsole. The Terexographic retails for around $135. And as usual, if you want to snag a pair for yourself, I'll have a link in the description below, as well as a 10% discount code for Running Warehouse. So, have you guys tried the Terexographics? Am I saying Agravics right? Probably not. Let me know in the comments below. You guys know this. I love hearing from you. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow me across social media. I'll be posting new content every week. And in the meantime, get outside and have some fun. Me, I'm gonna go play in the puddles. Because we have puddles. Goodbye!